Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to find your MAC address in Linux. So this is really easy. Um, you, you, you can basically uh, start off by saying, and, and if you're looking for any of these commands, just check the link in the description. This is our page. This is our guide we made to help answer the same question. So yeah, just check the link in the description for this page you see over here. Um, anyways, a um, few quick commands to help find your MAC address. First off, first of all, you can say ifconfig-a, and the dash a will give you all the interfaces, not just the ones that are up. So this is our wireless interface. Um, I'm not sure what this is offhand. Um, local local host. This is my actual Ethernet card, and this is a bridged interface that I'm using for KVM. Now to find your MAC address on an interface. So this is the interface that I'm actually using to go out to the internet, and this bridged interface is actually composed of this physical Ethernet interface there. Now your MAC address is going to be right here. So Ether, on, on this Ether line, th this is going to be your MAC address right here. And notice it's the exact same address that we see for here, because this bridged interface is just composed of this uh, Ethernet interface right here. Now our local loopback interface I believe doesn't even have a MAC address because it's not physical hardware um, this one is actually we're, we're just gonna skip that for now and uh, your our wireless uh, NIC so my, my built-in wireless interface has this MAC address so that's how to get them with the ifconfig command now uh, that may or may not be installed on your system I'll go over um, well, anyways, if you'll, you'll, you're either going to have that or IP. You're going to have the ifconfig or the IP command. Now, the IP command is a newer command. Um, the ifconfig is, is a deprecated command that some people still like. I still kind of like it. I have both on my system. But anyways, um, IP, yeah, IP adder. And uh, the, the, I think the output is a little bit messier on this, but maybe you could argue that it's easier to parse. But um, for for example, my Ethernet, um, my uh, e yeah, Ethernet interface right here, um, you can see leak link Ether on this line. It gives you your MAC address right here. Um, and uh, for my bridged interface, same MAC address. Basically, all the same stuff that we saw in the previous command. Just the output is a little bit uh, is switched around a little bit. So instead of IP adder, you can just say IPA if you like. Um, IPA for short and um, you can also say there's another IP command you can say IP link and that's that's gonna so that's that's not all that different but in any case IP link will give you the same info there's your MAC address so there, there's that um, now you, you could also say IP a show and en02 you could specify the exact interface and you're only going to get the info for that interface and your mac address will be right here so that may or may not be useful um you can do the same thing with ifconfig ifconfig there's your ethernet interface. I, I think this is just neater and cleaner output, but that's just, maybe that's just because I'm biased and I'm used to you. I've been using ifconfig since before the IP command ever existed. Um, anyways, you could also use eth tool, which you may, may or may not have installed on your system. eth tool um, en, eno2. So this is going to give us a lot of information about um, this interface. So this is my Ethernet interface. Get a bunch of inter info about the actual physical interface. Um, you know, link detected. Um, it's it's going to tell you, um, you know, a ton of stuff about it. It's full duplex. It's gigabit, um, twisted pair, and a ton of different details about what it supports and stuff like that. Um, and it should have, you know, it should have my MAC address on here. You know what? You need the. Uh, it doesn't. You need the dash p parameter, and it, it that won't work unless I have root permissions. So I could say sudo and 
making sure to actually type my password in correctly. And there we go. So I was doing that wrong. Um, yeah, so it's a capital P. So you need sudo and you need, uh, you know what, do I need sudo? I don't, or okay, so I was I was completely wrong about that. I don't need sudo um, and I, I just have to not use a lowercase p, I need an uppercase p. So eth tool uppercase p in the interface name will, um, yeah, so I, I was misreading what I have over here and just assuming it's lowercase. Um, so yeah, eth tool capital P and the interface and it's, it's going to print out your permanent address that's your mac address and that's what you have right here so that's really easy to parse if you know the interface name off the top of your head um so th so there's that now um if you don't have eth tool you can install it now first you would want you would want to do an apt update just to refresh your repo um so sudo apt update now, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it now. So you would first do that, and then you would say sudo apt install eth tool, right? And that's going to install eth tool for you. This is assuming you're on Ubuntu or Debian or something Debian based. Um, it should probably work that you should probably have that same package on any Debian based system. Now, if you're on a Red Hat system based system, let me just bring my guide over here and zoom in just a little bit so you can hopefully see this on the video now i'm running ubuntu right now but um so these, these are the commands that i used but if you're on a red hat based system like fedora or something or centos or, or actually actual rel you, you could just run sudo yum install eth tool or you could say um, sudo dnf install. If it's an older system, it's probably gonna be using yum. If it's a newer system, it's gonna be using dnf. Um, now, if you're on Arch Linux, you can just use pacman, pacman-s, eth tool, and that's a capital S. So that's how you get, get eth tool if you don't happen to have it. It's a real handy thing to have, and I just like to always have it installed. So hopefully that pretty much answers any question you might have about um, finding your MAC address. Hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up and, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff. Um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.